Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Fola Fash and if you're new, please subscribe. If you're not new, then thanks for tuning back in. So before I continue this video, I just wanted to say I hope everyone is staying healthy and keeping safe. Obviously this video was filmed way before the quarantine period, so just wanted to put that out there anyway before I start this video. So today we have my very happy client, Mary. Um, Mary's gonna get a silk press today. She has 4C hair. So what you just saw was just her with her hair coming out of cornrows. So we have to detangle first because I don't want it to be a mess at the shampoo bowl. So here we are just detangling her hair and you're going to see exactly what her texture is like before. She has very, very coarse, thick, long hair. So, you know, it took a while, but um, I'm just going to talk you guys through this whole process. So here her hair is in its natural texture. It's very beautiful, very thick. Like, I love her hair, it's so coarse. But oh my gosh, guys, doing this silk press hurt my hand and my shoulder. Jesus! <laughs> I have to say, it wasn't easy. So we're just shampooing Mary's hair and just giving her a nice deep condition. And yeah, I will talk you guys through once we start the silk press process. So here's her hair all clean and deep conditioned with a moisturizing conditioner. I really stress the importance of deep conditioning hair, especially before you silk press it. That's really honestly what gives it that nice shine because all I really use is just a heat protectant serum. And I literally only use like a few drops of that, nothing else. I don't use any other heavy products or anything. It's literally just, you know, making sure that you prep the hair before you actually silk press it and i like to really work in sections i think it makes it so much easier especially when you're working with 4c hair i think it just makes your life so much easier and it just makes the process so much better for you so the blow dry took me a while and i personally feel like the blow dry is the most important step of a silk press and so i really take my time doing it I like to use a paddle brush because I feel it offers the most tension and that's what kind of helps the silk press last longer as well amongst other things but I definitely feel like you need to concentrate a lot on your blow dry so yeah it took me a very long time for this blow dry especially because her hair is coarse and also she hadn't trimmed her ends so it was very very tangled at the ends so obviously we're gonna give her a trim but right now yeah it's just literally me working through <laughs> my hands and my shoulders like I said were really hurt to me like this is definitely one texture that I feel yeah it, it definitely takes a lot out of you but I love the end result so yeah and Mary has never silk pressed her hair guys before I forgot to add that in like literally this is her first time getting a silk press that's why she was so excited so you're just gonna see me repeat this step through until we reach the top of her hair and then we're gonna straighten it and then give her a nice trim. <laughs>
trim her ends before I silk wrap her hair and as you can see her ends are you know pretty bad she says she hasn't trimmed it in like I think over a year so we're just gonna take that out and as you can see her hair already has like this sheen this shine to it and I think that's really nice I feel like when you're doing a silk press it's best to like kind of hydrate the hair like when it's wet like do everything like when you're shampooing and all that rather than like after because like I said the products do weigh it down if you do anything after like I feel like I've actually come a long way from my very first like silk press video and I've learned so much and one thing I've learned is like less is more so here I'm just silk wrapping her hair putting it in curls obviously and then we're gonna wrap her hair and put her in under the dryer after putting a cling film on it or a saran wrap as some of you call it and then yeah we're gonna see the final result I'm getting used to the tracing Sunny I lay me A Lauren Sean who I told you me So now that we're almost done, I just added some wax to her edges rather than like edge control or gel because I feel like wax is just a lot lighter and it just like looks a lot more natural. And yeah, here's the final look. As you can see, it has a lot of movement to it. And like I said, I literally didn't use any product but heat protectant, just a few drops of heat protectant. And that's what made it kind of like light and airy. She really liked how it felt and like her hair looked so much healthier at the ends. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you can leave comments below and let me know what you think and see you soon. Bye. Getting used to the tracing, sunny,